context dependent acceptability. So let's, uh, so these are uh, sort of uh, semi technical terms in Habermas uh, counterfactual model. Uh, and uh, context, context dependent acceptability. Um, so let's dwell on them a bit and then I think we are done. Counterfactual So whenever I read the validity claim, that validity validity claim can be contested. So I'm sort of raising that claim as a fact in a sense, in an invert, inver, in, 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 in inverted comma. And but this. Uh, potential for being contest, contested is sort of a moment of self-transcendence within a validity claim, that this validity claim can be contested and can be transcended. So its factuality can be countered in that sense. That's the, that's the you know, sort of a, an essence of rationality or reasons. Because as against reasons, mere effects are just things which are out there. You know, they can't be transcended. A rock is there. But a claim is not, not like a rock in that sense. It has this counterfactual moment through which it can be self-transcend, can be transcended. So that's the counterfactual moment. And what about context transcend? Now, every claim, and we are talking about a different validity claims here, is context dependent in this many ways, in one way that it cannot be understood without a context, a specific life world or background understanding. So Habermas has no problem with that. So all validity claims are context sensitive in that sense. They can't be understood uh, linguistically as well as uh, in their extra linguistic meaning as reasons, except in a specific context. But for Habermas, it does not follow from this that they can be reduced to that uh, context. And the reason they can't be reduced to that context is that that context is that counterfactual factuality moment within a reason which we talked about. Reasons and claims to reason, etc. And that counterfactual moment makes it possible that every context can be transcended. So uh, what I must differentiate between is context dependence, context sensitivity, but context reduction. So he accepts that, you know, all claims are context dependent in the sense of context sensitivity, but they are not necessarily con context dependent in the sense of context a reduction. And that's because of the this counterfactual moment, which is the essence of ration rationality as understood by Habermas as, a, as, a, as, a, as, a, as something which emerges within a space of reason created by uh, a community of participants within argumentation. So Habermas, although he rejects the uh, notion of transcendence as totally divor divorced from context, he believes in imminence, imminent transcendence, that is transcendence from within. So when I raise a claim about the uh, rightness of action, that claim is within a context. It can be understood only within the context. But that counterfactual moment that my claim can be contested uh, makes it possible that it cannot be reduced to a specific context, context and it can be transcended. Obviously, once it is transcended, it is situated within a new context. So in that sense, context is always there. That's why it is imminent transcendence uh, and not uh, 
transcend absolute transcendence it is transcendence from within it is not transcendence uh, which is contextless okay let's go back okay so uh, but it does not follow from this that we have uh, uh, we have to renounce concept of validity analogous to truth to expand every counterfactual moment from the concept of validity and to equate validity with context dependent acceptability because when we when we reduced um, when we reduce um, validity to context dependent acceptability what we are doing is we are robbing validity claims of their counterfactual one even when we accept something based on context dependence if that acceptability is rational rationally motivated that counterfactual moment is always there which can be potentially triggered to question that uh, acceptability that's what i was just saying i think okay uh for me that one so now he moved on to toolman that's how he develops his own uh, uh theory of validity claims by critiquing people he sort of agree with agrees with but also 